Registered Phenomena Code 398 Object Class Gamma Black Hazard Types Animated Hazard Auditory Hazard Sentient Hazard Transmutation Hazard Containment Protocols Authority emergency suppressors are to be stationed in California, USA, with MST Alpha 07 compellers on standby to delay RPC 398 through thaumaturgic and religious means if MST Bravo 39 Ballroom Blitz requires assistance or is otherwise incapacitated. All personnel assigned to RPC 398 are to have mandatory soundproof equipment attached to them at all times. CSD personnel who have undergone endurance training or have experience in synchronized dance are to be readily available upon manifestation of RPC-398 in case MST Bravo-39 fails to integrate themselves into RPC-398 and successfully dissipate the entity. Unless CSD personnel attempt to re-establish containment of RPC-398, no personnel are to remove their soundproof equipment. A mass evacuation order is to be permitted by authority and government officials. Upon confirmation of RPC-398 manifesting, authority personnel are to silence media outlets, shut down news broadcasts, detain reporters, and ensure denial of civilian transportation in the areas affected by RPC-398, with a cover story provided falsifying reports of an experimental government device malfunctioning while transitioning through the area. Description. RPC-398 manifests every midnight on June 3rd and inconsistent dates in the month of October within a random graveyard located in areas surrounding California, USA. The entity's appearance is that of a human skeleton, measuring 1.9 meters in height, with a dark pigmentation in the color of its bones, the letters AG protruding from its cranium, glowing in a fluorescent hue in addition to a white hue around its figure. RPC-398 is fully animate and is capable of moving in motions not possible for most skeletal structures, bending, shrinking, extending, and modifying its physical form to seem fully elastic when a situation allows it to do so, causing it to be indestructible by current means, albeit capable of being temporarily delayed in its progress through thaumaturgy and religious iconography. RPC-398's primary anomalous properties manifest when a living organism with a skeletal structure is within a range of which it is capable of perceiving audio caused by RPC-398, its skeleton will be expelled via in the event that the organism refuses to dance or collapses due to exhaustion. This leaves affected individuals fully conscious, still capable of breathing through unknown means, but unable to move in any considerable amount due to the lack of a skeletal system until eventual expiration due to accelerated decomposition. Results with animals are inconsistent, as those that attempt to dance do so presumably as a survival instinct, while others immediately collapse or expulse their skeleton. The skeleton that has been expulsed have been classified as RPC-398-1 instances. The RPC-398-1 instance that has exited the subject will begin a synchronized dance in which all RPC-398-1 instances will adopt the same physical properties of the primary RPC-398 anomaly, with a fluorescent glow to each RPC-398-1 instance, perfectly synchronizing their movements until reaching the primary RPC-398 instance, where each instance of RPC-398-1 will begin the dance routine anew, while other RPC-398-1 instances attempt to pull other living creatures in the RPC-398 area of effect via forcefully dancing with the creatures until they enter RPC-398 area of effect, continuing the dance for 40 minutes thereafter, and then continuing to seek more living creatures. Field agents have reported RPC-398-1 instances of having incredible grip strength and exert force above average for the creature the RPC-398-1 instance originates from. This has resulted in many field agents being lost to the anomaly. RPC-398's emitted audio is an acapella of Andrew Gold's spooky scary skeletons, with each instrument being played by multiple skeletons that have arranged other skeletons into instruments. Every skeleton added to RPC-398's entourage increases RPC-398's decibels by 0.1 with each human skeleton, and 0.001 decibel with each non-human skeleton. 
Given the amount of RPC-398-1 instances in RPC-398 Entourage manifesting with RPC-398, its current decibels is hypothesized of being decibels with current RPC-398-1 instances, including a variety of non-human RPC-398-1 instances. RPC-398 manifestation requires a grace period with exponential increase in decibels increasing by one decibel every ten minutes, until it reaches its former decibel and entourage count prior to containment being re-established. RPC-398 entourage will appear from the ground below RPC-398 during the grace period, joining it in its synchronized dance and continuing their attempts to bring more creatures on the RPC-398 area of effect. RPC-398 dissipates if its skull is removed during its dance by anything other than itself. The only possible way to remove RPC-398 skull is to implement CSD personnel with prior experience in synchronized dance and or personnel with exceptional endurance in the RPC-398 entourage. If they are able to reach RPC-398, they are able to remove its skull and cause RPC-398 to dissipate. This has proven ineffective with deaf personnel as their incapability to hear RPC-398 audio results in RPC-398 completely ignoring their existence and unaffected by their physical interactions. Upon RPC-398 dissipating, all remaining creatures affected by RPC-398 will have their skeleton immediately returned to them, with enhanced physical properties. Properties of enhancements are identical to RPC-398-1 instances and all affected individuals are to be given RPC-398-1 classification and given Type II memory suppressants. Discovery Log On the night of October 31, 2011, local law enforcement received calls regarding noise complaints in the area. Local police officers discovered the remains of Green, Ski, and 27 other corpses of unidentified individuals around the manifested RPC-398, dancing with 29 instances of RPC-398, surrounded by candles and religious iconography. Authority agents implanted within the LAPD alerted the authority to RPC-398, and measures were immediately placed to counteract the anomaly after RPC-398-1 instances manifested, and all affected personnel and civilians were assumed KIA. Addendum 398-01 A reminder to all personnel questioning why RPC-398 is Gamma Black. Imagine if the Authority had all efforts fail and we were unable to re-establish containment of RPC-398 before its grace period ends. Every living being would be assimilated into its twisted bone entourage of animals, humans, and everything in between. Now, combine this with the sheer amount of creatures on our planet and the number of decibels that it increases by would not only each human, but each individual creature, and the amount of damage that kind of noise can make would be irreversible to the Earth. It would increase exponentially until the very crust of the Earth is shattered, and RPC-398 would basically be drilling down until there was nothing but the magma-covered core of Earth remaining. That is why 398 is classified as Gamma Black. Dr. Cubes.